Welcome, welcome to a special crochet show, or should I call it crochet party? I am so, so excited to be here. How are you guys doing? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know where are you from and what you're working on right now. Have you finished the mystery crochet along pattern? So many of you have, and I'm really excited. And I love the results. I love the different colors you guys picked. I love that some people decided to use just a Tunisian uh, stitch, a simple stitch instead of the knit stitch or the purl stitch. That's totally fine. I should have probably written it down that it's okay to keep going with the stitch that you were using. It was so, so fun to watch you all. And there were so many people. We almost had a thousand people who signed up for the mystery crochet along. Not everyone posted pictures, which is fine. Nobody's required to. Uh, some people are, you know, not so open when it comes to taking pictures and sending them into Facebook group, which is totally fine. But I loved getting all those emails and messages that you're enjoying them really really fun so my pattern looks like this oopsie daisy i almost pulled something so this is what it looks like for me so the fun part on this is so you can see there's an x on the bottom right so it's laid out like a windmill and then sewn together and what i really love about it is that you can easily just which obviously it's really hard to do on my hand right now but you can kind of fold it outwards like the little you know triangles almost right and then you can have like an open bag right like it's almost like a basket i don't know if you can see that right so if you have your one project that you're working on right and you can just put it in here you can take it on the go you can crochet as you go but then when let's say you're meeting up with your friends and whatever and you need to find things or you just simply want to work on it without the bag being all over the place you can just place it there and you have a little basket right and you have all your little things in there which is really really fun and of course you can add a lining if you want to i uh, excluded the lining because i thought the stitches were tight enough that i didn't need it but I absolutely love it. It looks really cute and it's a small version as you can tell. So it's perfect for like just one project, right? It was the perfect introduction to Tunisian crochet. And that was really what I wanted to do because I've noticed that so many of you guys uh, were asking for Tunisian crochet. I don't know if you remember in my Facebook group, I uh, probably a month or so ago, I asked what kind of technique do you really, really want to learn more about it? was maybe more than a month maybe two months I don't remember exactly but anyways most of you guys said Tunisian crochet and I said alrighty I'll create a project that introduces you to Tunisian crochet and as you probably know in case you don't know which is fine uh, there are different types of Tunisian crochet hooks so obviously you're not using a regular crochet hook right so there's these ones uh, which obviously are limited in how far or how many stitches you can put on there. Uh, my favorites are these guys, which you can extend pretty much as long as you want. You can literally get a little extender and you can add more and more cords together and you have a really, really long cord. Um, and that allows you to crochet giant things like blankets or whatever you want, right? So these ones are great and they also are more movable as you probably can tell because these guys are long. so you know there's there's weight going to be hanging right here on that metal stick and that's going to be hard on your arms so in my opinion this is better because it kind of slides down and it's it's less on your wrist right it, it's less painful but that's just one thing that you can do on this guy you can also put another crochet hook here on the back which then turns it into a double-ended tunisian crochet hook but with a cord in the middle right now there is versions of them without a cord right would be this guy which is a smaller version or this guy so a lot of you guys have asked me um well what do i use a double-ended crochet hook for like is it just because you know maybe it's a different size it actually there are crochet hooks where it's a different size but in this case these are not okay they're exact same crochet hook on either side of them have you ever tried them? Let me know. Have you ever tried um, using a double-ended crochet hook or Tunisian crochet hook? Have you ever tried it? Or better, another question, would you like to try it? Because I can teach you. So Tunisian crochet is a, it's, let's explain real quick what Tunisian crochet is, right? For those who don't know, Tunisian crochet is that perfect medium between crocheting and knitting. 
right? So you're picking up stitches and then you're working them back off. So every row has a forward path and a return path. Okay, so that way you're going back and forth, but it does kind of feel like you're knitting. In fact, some of the stitches you probably noticed look like they were knitted. Okay, so if you look at um, this one right here, let me see how I can hold it properly. This Tunisian uh, knit stitch really looks like it was knitted, right? But obviously it isn't. And the back side, it looks like this, right? It does kind of look like it was knitted, but it wasn't. <laughs> So, which is kind of really amazing. Uh, so you can create knit look texture, but still do it with crochet. And there are people out there, of course, they would say, why don't you just unknit? I was like, well, first of all, you have that option to do Tunisian crochet. Why wouldn't you? Plus, there are so many things you can do with Tunisian crochet that you really can't do with knitting and then vice versa, of course, right? But then there's also these effects that you can create with Tunisian crochet that really you can't do with knitting. I mean, it's not as far as I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a knitter, like, like really advanced knitter. I'm a big beginner knitter, but I haven't seen that technique in a while in knitting. So if it exists, my apologies. <laughs> but there's a few things I have to show you. I'm like so excited. Okay. You may have seen it on the picture. Um, that's a, one of my brand new patterns. And we're going to talk about all the brand new patterns. I love that you guys want to. Let, let's see. I love to try. Not sure how it works. Totally love to tell you. Okay. Ooh, I need to kind of make it a little bigger so you guys can see it. Uh, Donna says, I'm using a double-ended hook. I used to put clothes on. <laughs> that's funny. Yes, they can slide off. Right. Um, let's see. I found um, in a round pattern required a double and I found I put a project down for a few. Yes, and because you couldn't figure it out. I'm happy to teach you. I have a tutorial for it. I just... Just give me a second. I'll talk about it. Uh, yes, I have uh, two double-ended crochet hooks. I um, also have Tunisian hooks. Learning, loving it. Yay. Double-ended makes it reversible. Yes, 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 yes. We're going to talk about that. I'm really, really excited for that. Um, okay, so let's talk about it for a second. Okay, first of all, there are different types of Tunisian crochet. There are simply one color, one hook, right? So you probably noticed that on this, we made all these panels. We just used one color, right? Then there's patterns like this, right? This is also known, so there's two names for this, okay? This is the smock stitch or the honeycomb number two stitch, okay? So this one is an um, origami bag using the honeycomb stitch. So one color, right? And then we have this one, which is a beautiful, absolutely stunning shawl, okay? Using the top stitch. So again, a totally different stitch uh, using the Tunisian top stitch. This is a triangle shawl, by the way, okay? I'm not gonna put it around me right now because I'm really, really warm. Um, and then there is things like you can easily make, which are these cute little slippers, also done in Tunisian crochet. Again, one color, right? Uh, we also have this, which is an ear warmer. I'm not going to put it on right now because it would make my hair crazy. But a twisted ear warmers, right? Also just done in one color. Then a Hello, what do you guys think about this? Look at this. This is called the uh, Saloniki stitch. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing this correctly. Um, and it looks like it was knitted. This is actually fun because it's not a typical return pass, uh, but it's done with a combination of the Tunisian simple stitch as well as the full stitch. Um, and then in a you know way to work up the return pass where you do like multiple loops worth just two loops. And it makes this beautiful texture, absolutely stunning. So I made it into a rounded pillow that I can put on my bed, which is really fun. And I made it look like it's um, a candy <laughs> because I love that. Plus it allows you to take it off easily. Um, you know, I didn't sew it together. I put buttons on so I can wash it if I need to. We also have a cowl, right? Still all one color, but we're gonna talk about the multicolor, right? And then we have a shrug, which I'm gonna throw on real quick just that you can see it, okay? These are all brand new patterns, by the way, in case you're curious. So we have a shrug, okay? So this is done from a rectangle and this is using the Tunisian full stitch, okay? So we have all these different types of patterns. 
Um, and then one more pattern, which I absolutely love. Again, still with one color, all done in Tunisian crochet. And that is this one. This one is a baby blanket. And yes, it is Tunisian crochet. It's not knitted. And you can see there's cables on it. And don't worry, I have a tutorial for that as well. So we have Tunisian simple, knit, pearl, and cable stitches on this. How fun is that? This is a baby blanket, which you can make a lot bigger if you wanted to. I will provide you with a graph and all that stuff so you can totally make it bigger if you wish to. But let's talk about the double-ended crochet hooks. Okay, what can you do with that? And someone brought it up and said, yes, you can make it reversible. Yes, you can, okay? So this is one of my absolute favorite patterns I designed. This is a, a done with a double-ended crochet hook. Look at this effect. Okay, I'll call it the hidden rainbow. But as I said, it's reversible, okay? So I can take this off and I reverse it and then you see the rainbow. How cute is that? This is one of my absolute favorite hats that I created for uh, something special you're about to see. And this is really, really pretty. So you use one color for the forward path and then one color for the return pass at the same time. And so you have this hidden rainbow, in this case in the rainbow, because I used a uh, variegated yarn. So a lot of you guys have asked me in the past, what would you use variegated yarn for? Because sometimes variegated yarn, if you use it alone, it can look funky, right? But in my opinion, if you combine it with a neutral color, as you can see right here, this is the Tunisian knit stitch, right? Uh, but done in a round using a double-ended crochet hook. So this is the effect that you can create. You can hide, literally hide, this is why I call the hidden rainbow, hide the variegated yarn kind of in between. It's like kind of reading between lines, right? So it's kind of in between the lines and it creates this beautiful effect, which I absolutely love. But you can also create things like this, okay? So you have, this is not done in a, um, in a round, in a row, and it's still done with a double-ended crochet hook, okay? Um, this is called crow hooking. Okay, crow hooking is when you use a crochet hook that has two hooks on, of the same size, right? So sometimes Tunisian crochet in a round as well as multicolor Tunisian crochet is known as crow hooking. So that is kind of used interchangeably, okay, that term because you're using two colors and you have to use both ends of the crochet hook. So this again is reversible, okay? So this has kind of the texture on the outside. So I call this the sky snow hat, right? Because you can kind of see it's like snowy, right? And the sky is kind of behind it, but then you can also just see the sky, right? So you can see that right here. So here I'm combining the Tunisian knit stitch with the Tunisian simple stitch, which means that on one side, it's kind of flat, and you can see the colors more. And then on the other side, it's more dimensional, right? And it creates, you know, more of the white color on one side. So again, this is reversible. And this is what happens when you use a double ended crochet hook. But you can also create things like this with double ended crochet hooks. You can use the same color when you use two ends of the crochet hook right? And you can make this really, I mean, you can see how thick this is. Is this done in rounds? Okay. It's a diagonal, uh, very double thick, actually, it's what it's called, double thick um, pot holder. And it's really, really thick, really thick. <laughs> and it's really beautiful. And again, done in rounds. Um, and then we have this guy, which I know a lot of you guys loved. You recently saw a quick little sneak peek of it. This is a scrunchie Again, I made with a double-ended crochet hook. I used one hook, saw, uh, one hook uh, end with one color and the other hook end with the other color, AKA I used the forward path with one color and I used the return path with the other color. This is how it looks like in the end. Again, this is just easy. This is Tunisian simple stitch, but done with two colors. Super easy, trust me. It's much easier than you might think. A lot easier than you might think. Here's another beautiful effect that you can create with two colors using two ends. Okay, so a crochet hook, double ended crochet hook. And this one is actually really fun because so many, 
how many times have you guys asked me, it's like, oh, how do I add a lining and how do I add a zipper to my crochet? Now you can do that manually, but here's the thing. I decided, and I have a link for you, everything, right? And it's super easy. I bought a pouch, a canvas pouch that had a zipper already attached. And I crocheted pretty much a pouch around it, not immediately. So I made the pouch separate and inserted it and then just sewed it on. And then you don't have to worry about zippers or aligning or anything. It was ready to go. <laughs> All I did was sew it on. And there you have a pouch. And you know what I love about this? This kind of reminds me of math from high school or college. <laughs> Doesn't it? It's kind of like a graphing paper, which means you can totally use this to add like names on it or something like that, right? Like you can add, um, you could use embroidery or whatever you want or even surface crochet and crochet something on here because it almost looks like little tiny pixels, right? And you can, and it's of course on the other side as well, right? Again, done in rounds to the double and a crochet hook, right? And of course, creating a beautiful effect. And then we have this guy. This is actually also reversible. This is a laptop bag. Okay, so if you flip it down, there's two loops here. Okay, hang on, where's the other loop? Right here two loops and you just put it around the button. Okay. And so why is this double sided or better? Why is this reversible? Well, on one side, this is actually done in the Tunisian seed stitch, which is a combination of the Tunisian knit and pearl stitch, right? So this is this side, but if you look on the inside, it looks like it's honeycomb. So the color may not change completely, but it's honeycomb on the inside. So I made it reversible. That means there's a button on the inside and a button on the outside, which makes this reversible. So however look you want to accomplish or want to show off, that's what you're going to use, right? So of course you can use it for books too, but this is a laptop bag. Super, super fun. Okay. So all of these patterns you can have, okay. Did I show all of them? I want to make sure I did show all of them. Oh, I have one more that I didn't show. And this is not done in rounds actually. And this is done with a regular Tunisian crochet hook, not even with a cord. Like you can use a small one. Hang on, let me pull a small one. Like a small one without even the, the cord on it, okay? You don't need anything fancy with this one. But it's done in, it is made into a circle without using rounds. Is that making sense? We're not using a double ended crochet hook for this, but I have a tutorial. I know you guys have asked me, so I have made nine or 10 videos. Okay. I have a video for this guy because I know I'm going to ask, get a questions for that. I have videos for this full video, I have a full video for this. I have a full video for this. I have a full video for the seat stitch for cables, for crow hooking in a row, um, for this, uh, Saloniki stitch, the top stitch, all of the stitches, knit stitch, pearl stitch, uh, full stitch, all of those stitches you can have. Would you like them? Raise your hand if you want to learn all this. Who wants to learn how to do all these different types of stitches? Who wants to learn how to do Tunisian crochet in a round, multi-color, double-ended crochet hooks? Raise your hand if you do, okay? So if you know, or you've been around for a while, you know I've had Tunisian crochet, a Tunisian crochet ebook before. I had two actually. I had a version one, the very, very early one. It was a small, tiny one, had only like four stitches and six patterns. I extended it last year to version number two, which had 16 patterns and only like eight stitches or so. Okay, I expanded again for version number three, brand new. And again, still the same name, just volume three. This is Tunisian Crochet Made Easy with 32 crochet patterns. That means there's 16 new patterns that I just showed you all of them. Okay. There's 20 exclusive patterns in here, 16 stitch tutorials, 30 videos, brand new. Okay. This is the shrug, by the way, in case you didn't see it earlier, <laughs> me wearing it, but it's very warm right here. So this is how it looks like. Okay. And it has all these different things. So let me see if I can show it off on camera here for a second because I do want to show you what it all has. So let me see if I can do it. I think you're going to see partially my microphone. No, you don't, but I do see some of my hooks on the side here. So let me see if I can move over this over so I can show you what's inside. So we have the Tunisian Crochet Made Easy ebook. Okay. So I printed it out. I have like a little 
like a, a hole puncher that allows me to do this and then add this thing on there. Okay. So it's like, I don't know, 50 bucks on, on Amazon. I bought it so I can show it to you. And this is really cute and I absolutely love it because it makes it look neat. Okay. So this is an ebook PDF that you can print out or you can use in your um, ebook reader. Okay. You can use it in iBooks and all that stuff. So this is volume three of my Tunisian crochet ebook. That does not mean that whoever bought it before can get this. You can buy it new. Yes. Just like a regular book. It's brand new. Okay. And it's ready for you to get. So we have all of these tutorials right here, all of them with video. Okay. So things like why does my crochet curl? What can I do about it? Increasing, decreasing, crow hooking, Tunisian crochet rounds, cables, all of these different stitches. So we're going from like the most basic stitches to more advanced stitches. And then of course, double ended crochet hooks and all those things. Right. And then we have all of these patterns. Okay. 32 patterns. Now let me show you in a picture format. These are all right here. So we have all these different types of stitches and tutorials, and then we have all of these patterns. Now it's very hard to see on camera because this is why I showed you some of these patterns, but they're all right here. So obviously there were more than I just showed you. Okay. A lot more. I showed you the 16 brand new versions of all of these patterns and there's like 95 pages and has everything. So you can see that it's lined out. So everything that you can, all the table of content is clickable. So if you are opening the PDF and you tab on any of these, they will take you straight to the pattern. That's how I designed it. I put a link behind it. So it takes you straight to the pattern. You don't have to keep scrolling back and forth. Okay. And whenever you see any of these green lines, you can click on them and it takes you straight over. So for example, this pattern right here has four video tutorials and one of them is the full pattern video tutorial. Okay. So we have all these different links for all these different patterns. Okay. So the value value, that's not the price, but the value of this ebook is more than $200. Okay. More than $200, but I have a special for you. So let me switch around so you can see me again. Hello. Hello. I see so many of you guys want to learn. I love it. I see like uh, raising your hands. Me, me, me. I do me. I love it. I love it. I love it. You guys are amazing. That would be nice. I want to learn. Yes. Okay. But then it's a question, Missy. I totally get you. You know, how do I get it? Okay. So I have a link for you. So don't worry. We have everything for you. And let me just grab my button so I can show it to you. So you can grab it right now and I'll talk to you about it. Okay. Here's the link. And I'm also going to put it into the comments. Unfortunately, it's only going to show up for my Facebook page and my YouTube channel. Okay. There's three locations. I'm going live right now in my group, my page and my YouTube channel. Unfortunately, the links only go to the public ones, which is my page and my YouTube channel. So the link is down here and I also just put it in the comments. Okay. If you use Tunisian 10, you get $10 off. So as I said, the value is over $200. The regular price that I'm selling this ebook for is $29.99, but until Wednesday, I'll give you guys this coupon code because it's a brand new ebook and I do it every time like that for a grand opening. I give you a coupon code uh, for a special discount. So $10 off if you use Tunisian 10. Here's the link that takes you straight over and you can see everything. And if you can't remember this link, you can either take a screenshot of it. I will put it in the description later. Um, I'll also send an email out or you just head over to my website, nikkishomeacrafts.com and go to ebooks and you will see it right on the top there, click there and you can get it. So as I said, with this coupon code, you're going to get all of this for less than $20. That means 32 patterns, 18 tutorials, 30 video tutorials. Okay. The video tutorials are all embedded and everything. I actually even put a Q and a uh, section this time, um, right to this link. So if you have any questions, they're answered right there. And you can also email me if you have any questions. Okay. So that's how you can get the ebook. Who's going to get the ebook. I want to know who's going to try Tunisian crochet. I have to tell you, there are plenty of ebooks out there, plenty of ebooks out there. There's plenty of books out there on Tunisian crochet. I have never seen one that combines both regular Tunisian crochet and double ended crochet hooks. Okay. It's so it means crow hooking. None of them have this. This is the only one who does, which has 
there could be a book out there I haven't seen. But the ones I've looked at, none of them have this, okay, where you combine both of the techniques in one. So will you have to pay for the videos or the, the videos are included in the ebook. Everything I said is included. Okay. So you get all the videos, you get all the stitch tutorials and you get all the patterns in one package. I actually make it easier. You don't have to click these links right here that I gave you guys. You don't have to click them. They're embedded in your profile. So once you're logged in, Okay, the videos, there's a video section for the patterns, there's a video section for the stitches, you click on that and they're all embedded. So you don't even have to click on any links if you don't want to. They're right there. You just go and log in, look at them, click on them, watch them right there. They're all there for you. So I made it really, really easy for you. All you need to do is download the PDF. Uh, the, it, it downloads immediately into your download folder. So whether you do it on mobile or on a desktop or on a tablet, it goes straight into your download folder. Whatever your download folder is, it depends on your device, right? <laughs> Go straight into it. And from there, you can use any PDF reader to use it and any of the links are clickable. As I said, the table of content is clickable. This is one of the things that I absolutely love doing for everyone because it's been asked for years and I said, okay, I'm finally doing it. So all my brand new eBooks all have that. Okay. So you can click on the table of contents, which takes you straight there. No scrolling back and forth because I get that. It's so annoying on eBooks where you don't know where you are. This allows you to jump right to it. Okay. And I am old fashioned. I like printing things out. One more thing I do want to point out. Have you seen how big the letters are? I made sure that the size is huge. I think it's size 15 or so, uh, so that it's easy to read. I understand sometimes that can be hard, uh, when you have things on digital, but the, the letters are big. Okay. They might be a little small for the materialist. I made it a little bit smaller there because that's not as important. It's more important that you have the material, uh, the, uh, pattern written, right? So everything is written out. And as I said, several of these patterns have full video tutorials with them. So glad, glad, glad to see that, that you guys all get it. I love it. I'm getting it now. I need more time. Yes. Yes. Me. I want to try it. I am so glad. So, so glad. Yes. It's bigger font. I always make sure it's big font, but I also want to talk about, okay, let me first show you guys the, the pictures. I do want to show you the pictures a little bit better. Okay. I have pictures here so I can show them to you. So here are all the patterns one more time. So you can see it in a, in a better lighting. The lighting is not good when it picks up a picture on a video, right? So here's better lighting. These are all the stitches you can learn, all the techniques, everything you need to know, including the patterns, everything is there for you. Okay. All of it, what you see that right here is what you're going to get everything in the ebook, including the videos. Uh, so you can see the entire package. It's the ultimate beginner guide to Tunisian crochet made easy. It has everything, 32 patterns, 18 stitch tutorial, tutorials, uh, 30 video tutorials. Everything is there for you. Easy to access lifetime access. So once you have it, you have it, you don't need to buy it again. Okay. Um, so this is volume three brand new. Okay. And you can also have a chance to win something. So starting today, I will pick one of those who buy the ebook and they get an additional ebook. Okay. I will announce it in my group so everyone can see who the winners are. So yes, we're going to have that. But speaking of winners, we also have three mystery crochet along winners. Okay. Three winners. So and if any of those people already bought the ebook just now, it's okay. They can pick a different ebook. Okay. But if you are one of the winners, you get to have this ebook for free. If you just bought it, it's okay. I'll give you a second ebook for free. No problem. Okay. If you're already that fast, which I love, I see several people already bought it. So thank you. But if you already got it, just get a different ebook. Totally fine. Okay. So we have three winners. We have. Jonna, hopefully I'm saying your name right, Jonna. Congratulations. We have Erlen. Again, I'm not good with names. I apologize. And then we have Donna. 
So you three won my Chinese crochet ebook. If you already got it, you get a different ebook. You pick which ebook you want, you get to have it. Okay, you get the Tunisian crochet ebook for free. In order to claim your prize, because I don't have your email address ready to go, please email me. And this email address is also for those who have questions about the ebook. That's totally fine. But the winners, please email me and just say winner, mystery crochet along winner, or something in the subject line so I can quickly find you. Uh, congratulations to the winners, but we still have winners to go, right? So if you get the ebook, Today until Wednesday, you not only save $10 if you use the coupon code. Uh, let me put it back on the screen so you can see it, okay? If you use this coupon code right here, you get $10 off until Wednesday. Wednesday the 25th, if my memory is correct. <laughs> until when midnight hits, um, you know, if midnight strikes between Wednesday and Thursday, that midnight, <laughs> um, then it's over, okay? That coupon code will go away. But until Wednesday, you can use it to get $10 off to get 32 patterns to learn Tunisian crochet, learn all about the different crochet hooks, get um, all the tutorials about regular Tunisian crochet, crow hooking, done in arounds, like different colors. You will learn how to do all these different techniques. Uh, you will even get, oh, this is my absolute favorite. I just love this pattern so much. There are 20 exclusive patterns in the ebook. Let me remind you of one more little thing. Is there, yes, Donna, that was you. <laughs> is there Donna? No, there's only one and that's you. Um, there's one of the things that uh, I wanna point out is one pattern, if it's available on my website, it's available as a PDF, but as I said, there's 20 exclusive ones. But if it is available on my website, they typically sell for $5 per PDF. So you're getting 32 patterns 18 stitch tutorials and 30 videos all in one combination for less than $20. That is a value of four patterns. I can't even show my fingers correctly. Value, value of four patterns, but you get all of that. All of that in one. How cool is that, okay? Uh, is there a good source for double-ended crochet hooks? Yes, I added links into it. So there's actually links within those patterns that use the double-ended crochet hooks. I put them all in one little link so you can find them and you can then get what you want. Okay, there's different sizes. Um, sometimes I prefer the long versions. They're harder to find, you guys. Double-ended crochet hooks are harder to find. So sometimes I like the longer ones. Um, they're metal ones, okay? And then sometimes I just like the shorter ones, even for bigger projects. So this project right here, even though that's a long round, I use the short one because sometimes it's easier to handle. You don't want so much on your crochet hook that it hurts your arm. So sometimes a smaller double ended crochet hook is perfectly fine. Cause you don't have to switch often, right? Obviously, cause one side is the forward path, one side is the return path. So that means if once you have too many loops on your hook, you're gonna have to turn and work on the return path, but that's fun. Cause you're going back and forth and you use different colors. It's, it's just really, really fun. It's not one of those things where you keep doing the same thing over and over again and can maybe get boring. It's not with a double ended crochet hook. Literally, I just want to crochet it all the time now. I just want to use it over and over again. And as I mentioned before, you can even use the corded versions. If you already have them, you simply add the same hook. You can just buy a new one if you wanted to, right? Like the same hook size. So let's say you have to use, this is an eight millimeter. Let's say you'd use a double ended crochet hook that needs eight millimeter on both sides. Just get one more of these, attach it here instead of the stopper and it makes it double ended. There's many different things that you can do, right? Now these guys are not double ended. You can't take this off, okay? So this is one sided only. But these are three different ways how you can use double ended crochet hooks, okay? So these are three different versions of them. As I said, I have the links for all of it, okay? I'm so, so glad you guys are so excited. Oh, and so many comments flying in. Uh, so again, the link is right there, right there. And I just put it back into the comment section too, in case you missed it and you want to click it from there. You can also head over to my website and use it immediately. I'm about to send an email out. So if you are my newsletter, you're going to get an email after this live as well. And it has all the links too. So Tunisian 10 gets you $10 off. Okay, using this link right here. It's case sensitive, by the way. So the T and the C are uppercase. It's case sensitive, so make sure you do it correctly. So T 
I made it short so you can easily do it. So T-U-N for Tunisian, C-R-O for crochet, and 10. So you remember there's a there's a uh, coupon code, right, to get $10 off. So do you guys have any questions for me? Please hit me up if you have any questions. I even put a poll in... Um, on YouTube so I can see who is your beginner, who's intermediate, who's never tried it in advance. I'm going to check that poll later. Um, so one of the questions uh, that I'm getting here will be some of them in a TCC. Everything regarding TCC, so if you don't know what TCC is, TCC is my membership and it's called the Crochet Club. So in the Crochet Club are over 300 patterns. What's in TCC? What patterns? All the patterns that you can find on my website as with ads, okay, are available in TCC without ads. However, ebooks are not included in that because those patterns in the ebook are not right on my website, okay? So they're not written out on my website. That means they're not in TCC. But if I publish some of them as I go, they will go into TCC. Whatever is on my website will go into TCC ad free. Okay. However, TCC has a lot of exclusive patterns you can't find anywhere else. No ebook, no website, nothing. They're only in TCC. We have over a hundred patterns, I think, recently I counted that are only in TCC. So just keep that in mind, okay? So let's see, on hook is the Tunisia mosaic pillow cover. Yay! There are so many fun patterns. I have a mosaic crochet ebook as well, in case anyone is curious. But right now, I just want to talk about the Tunisian Crochet Made Easy ebook, which is my brand new ebook, volume number three. Okay, so if you got any previous versions of the ebook, you get to keep it, but you're not automatically getting this one. So because I added so much new content to it, like 16 new patterns, 10 new video tutorials, and I believe it was five or six new stitch tutorials. That's brand new content, right? So all of that is brand new and I combined it all in one. So this is a brand new ebook, uh, volume number three. So just that you know that if you ever bought a previous version, you get to keep it. You just can't buy it anymore, if that makes sense. Just like a regular book, right? If your favorite book, I don't know, Harry Potter or whatever, has a new version of that, you don't automatically get that version just because you bought one before, right? This is exactly how this works. Brand new version and it has so many new patterns. I love these patterns. I'm gonna put this one on just because it's my favorite, even though I said I wouldn't put it on, but it's my favorite. It looks so pretty. I love how the colors really come together here in the center, right? And from a different angle, it looks all white. And then from another angle, you see all the colors popping through. And as I said, it's reversible. So if you have one day, you want to see more color, you just reverse it, right? And if you want to see a little bit more white, you just have on one side. And this is also double. This is double thick right here. So it's two layers right here. You make it first around, then flip it over and crochet it together. So that way it makes it reversible. Both sides look the same, which is cool. So it's like a double, it's a double brim, but you can't flip it back, right? It's just all together. This is my absolute favorite hat. So, so excited. It's all in this collection. So head over and go get it. And for those who want, send me a message, send me an email um, so I can get you access to it. If you already bought the ebook, I'll give you a different one. I love this book so much. I hope you're going to get it. Take advantage of the fact that this coupon code exists. So you, it's less than $20 for the entire ebook, 32 patterns, 16 stitch tutorials, tutorials, and 30 video tutorials. All included using this coupon code gets you $10 off. Okay. So that means less than $10, uh, $20. What? That's amazing. If you guys have any further questions, leave me down below, respond to my email. If you have a question, check out the Q and a section. Uh, once you click this link, it's all the way on the bottom and it lays everything out for you. If you have any further questions, let me know. And I hope you take advantage and I hope you have a beautiful weekend. I'll see you then. Bye.